Uh, in the name of Allah, hello uh, students, I hope you are doing well. Today our lesson is about the HCF. HCF means highest common factor. So let's see the meaning of the highest common factor. Highest means, as you can see, greatest or bigger. So highest means greater, greatest and bigger. Common means giant or participator. Giant means participator means uh, one thing in two numbers. And factor means divisor. So the meaning of the highest common factor is finding the greatest or bigger giant divisor between two or three numbers. What's the meaning of factor? As we studied at our previous lessons, factor are those numbers which our given number is completely divisible by them without remainder. So that's called factor. And multiples, numbers which contains another numeral a certain number of times without a remainder. So these are factors and multiples. Today our lesson is about the finding the highest, the biggest factor of two or three numbers. Let's have a look for these examples. For example, number 8 and 12. Here we are going to find only the factors of these numbers. And we are using for the finding the factors of numbers from divisibility of numbers, as we studied before, and you remember this. So the first factor of each number is always 1. The second number, 8, is an even number. And from divisibility of number 2, we understand that 8 is an even number, and it's divisible by 2. 8 is not divisible by 3. It's divisible by 4. It is not divisible by 5. It's not divisible by 6. It's not divisible by 7. But it's divisible by 8. It means the number itself. So now, n12. As we said before at the first example, the first factor of each number is 1. The second, because 12, the first unit digit, as you can see, is an even number, so it's divisible by 2. Let's see for 3, the sum of the digits, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, so it's divisible by 3 as well. 12 is divisible by 4, but it's not divisible by 5. Now, 12 is divisible by 6? Yes, because it's divisible by 2 and 3 at the same times. 12 is divisible by 7? No. Is it divisible by 8? No. Is it divisible by 9 and 10? No. So uh, the last factor for 12 is itself. It means 12. What are these numbers that we found here? These numbers are all factors of 8 and 12 because we, the 8 is completely divisible by these numbers. So we can write that the Factor, factors of 8 is equal to 1, 2, 4, and 8. And the factors of 12 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. So, dear students, this was finding the factors of different numbers as we worked. Let's go for next example. Here is we have another numbers, 18 and 12. How we can find the factors of these numbers? So, 18, as I said before, the first factor of each number is 1. The second, it's the first unit digit, as you can see, is 8. It is an even number and it's divisible by 2 as well. So 1 plus 8 is equal to 9, sum of the digits. So it's 9, 9 is divisible by 3, 18 is as well divisible by 3. Now 4, for 4 it's not divisible, but for 5 it's not divisible, for 6 of course it's divisible. So for 9, yes, when the numbers are divisible by 3, they are divisible by 9 as well. So it's also divisible by 9. 
And the last factor is 18 by itself. Now uh, have a look on 20. The first, as I said before, is 1. The second one is 2, because the first unit is 0. For 3, it's not divisible, but for 4, of course, it's divisible. For 5, of course, it's divisible, because the first digit is 0, as we studied at the divisibility of 5, so it's for 5. And the last one is 10 and 20. Now have a look. These numbers are the factors of 18 and 20 that I easily found it. So the factors for 18 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. And factors for 20 is 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20. Now let's come for our today's topic examples. As we said before, today we will study the highest common factor. It means we are going to find the common factors between two numbers. Which factors are common? So first of all, we are going to find the factors step by step. We will work. So for 10, as we worked before and you uh, learned, first is 1, the second is 0, 2, it's not for 3 and 4, so for 5, of course, it's divisible. And the last one is 10. For 14, you know that it's 1, 2, 1 plus 4, 5, it's not for 3, not for 4, not divisible for 5, but it's divisible by 7. And the last one by itself, 14. Now, I'm going to write the factors here. 14 was equal to 1, 2, 5, and 10. And for 14, it's equal to 1, 2, 7, and 14. So, dear students, now we are on word of common. So, what's common meaning here? We found the factors. As you can see, we have 1 at the 10 as well, but at the 14 as well. So 1 is the common, the joint number between the 10 and 14. The second number that are joint is 2. So 2 are also the participate numbers between the 10 and 14. At 10 we have the 5, but we don't have it in 14. At 10 we have the 10, but we don't have it in 14. So the common factors between these two numbers, the, between the 10 and 14, what? It's 1 and 2. Now it's turn for the last uh, word, highest. As we said before, the highest means is biggest, the bigger one, the greatest one. So you know that the between the two one and two, the greatest number is two. So the common, highest common factors between 10 and 14 is two. Easily we can find it if we know the factors, finding the factors. So let's go for another example for more practice. Here is we have another two numbers, one pair of numbers. So for it's four and eight. As we mentioned before, first we are going to find the factors of numbers. So it's one, two, and four. For eight, it's one, two, four and eight itself. So the factors that we found for four was one, two, and four. For eight is one, two, four, and eight. So dear students, I'm sure that you noticed the common factors between these very well. So the common factors between four and eight is one, two, and four. So now, as you know, the meaning of the highest, so the biggest one number, the biggest one is between these three numbers, the common factors, or which factors? Sure, yes, of course, it's four. Thank you.
It's very easy. So now we find the greatest, the highest common factor between the 4 and 8 is 4. So this is was, uh, dear students, this was our today's lesson about the finding the highest common factors. Here I have some uh, worksheets has to practice more for more learning. And you know that mathematics need for more practices. So I'm going to share a worksheet for you for more practice. Please try to solve these questions and find the common factors of these numbers in this worksheet. Then we will to could learn better and then I will check with you that you did it or not. Thank you very much. So this is a worksheet that you can see here we have about the numbers that we are going to find the common factors between these numbers. It's very easy as we learned. I'm sure that you can do it very well.